Hi, I'm Lily Collins, and I'm going to walk you through my skincare uh. routine. And I'm going to take... Okay, you need to just take a rest, and I'll take over. Hi, Vogue. I'm Ivra, and this is my nighttime skincare routine. I can't believe it took 25 years for me to find out the best skincare routine for me and this I am sure because my skin is glowing and my acne scars are lightened so if you want to know how I got this kind of skin just keep watching So first step, I'm gonna remove your makeup I mean it's 4 o'clock right now but let's just pretend that uh, we're, I'm going to sleep now <laughs> This is a nighttime routine So I'm using this reusable cotton pad because eco-friendly I'm using this natural face oil to remove my makeup Okay, Should I apologize to her? I started using this natural face oil because it doesn't clog my pores while I remove my makeup and it's also good for my eyes. Look, it doesn't really hurt my eyes when I remove my makeup. Like, look, it's so easy to remove, y'all. I'm using this Curel facial wash. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Recently, I just started using foam cleanser because I realized that combination skin is a little bit too oily on this T-zone part and also dry like the rest of the face. And if you use like a gel cleanser which is too strong, it's good for your T-zone but the rest of the face is going to be dry. Next step is toner. So here's a tip for you guys to try out new products which is to get the travel kit size so you can test out whether it suits your face or not. So for like 55 ringgit, I got like face wash and a small toner and a moisturizer. I know you're supposed to use toner on your cotton pad but like I find it putting on your hands and slapping it makes it even easier to absorb. Before you put on moisturizer, put on serum mm. first. Ta-da! I got this Ruru Berry Serums. Okay, let me just go through with you guys. Remember in my previous video where I talked about The Ordinary and how it works so well on me? But the downside of The Ordinary is that it's always sold out. You can't really get it in Malaysia and it's kind of pricey to pay the shipping fees and all that. Let me introduce this amazing product from Malaysia and it's called Ruru Berry. It's got the same ingredient as The Ordinary because it's got niacinamide and zinc. And apart from the niacinamide and the zinc, you have this niacinamide and a hyalur hyalur hyaluric acid. I don't really know how to pronounce that. I mean, I'm not a scientist. Let me get this right. Hyaluric haya. Yeah. Can we just say HA? HA is a hydration booster. When you check your facial mask and the moisturizer, they always have this caloric acid in that ingredient list. But all those products that you see on the market, they include a lot of other ingredients. But have you ever thought that your skin really need that much of ingredients? Because you only need to moisturize and the main key ingredient that you need is caloric acid. The HA. And the best part of it is vegan cruelty free and fragrance free. Two or three drops. The three drops are more than enough to fit all my face. Because the key here is to stay hydrated and control the oil on your face. Okay, a lot of people thought that, oh, my face is so oily, I shouldn't put a lot of moisturizer or serum on my face because it's going to be more oily. But the truth is, the reason why your face is so oily because your skin is too dry. And when your skin is too dry, it will automatically generate like natural oils on your face to stay hydrated. And because of our daily routines and the crappy food that we have and the bad sleeping schedule that we have, it affects our hormones. And then the hormones will kind of just cause oil then to produce more oil and when you have too much oil you will clog your pores and then your hands just kind of accidentally touch your face and you get pimples I mean I'm not a scientist or a beautician or a doctor but you can google all of this online and what comes out of the serum? Moisturizer! And I'm using this hybrid facial oil which I also use it to remove my makeup just now but you gotta know what kind of oil so it's a skin type because some of the natural plum oil they have like different saturated fats level some of you guys might think that oh wait wouldn't the oil clog my pores and make my face even more oily now there are actually fine face oil out there where they have small molecules that would absorb to your face better so before I go to the video, I'll just pump like two pumps like that and this will make your face glow a little massage like that gotta shake first it's my holy brow lash oil. So I usually just put it on my eyebrow, roll back and forth a bit to massage and make it circulate my blood. I usually just apply it before I go to sleep because during the daytime it's gonna be too oily. <laughs> Everything is natural. Do not include alcohol in your skincare products because alcohol is gonna dry out your skin so so bad. 
please please learn how to read the ingredient list of a product because that is going to affect your skincare because I sleep in an air conditioning room so my lips are gonna be cracked and dry as hell when I wake up so I gotta stay moisturized with my lip balm this one is colorless peppermint it smells just like me so when you wake up your morning breath is not going to be as smelly if you're not going to bed in this oily greasy well moisturized face you're doing it wrong okay <laughs> oh wait I almost forgot about this step because I only use disclaimers twice a week whenever I feel like the pimple is gonna come out I just apply it right away and it's actually a free sample from Innisfree when I sign up as a member. <laughs> Don't judge me. So that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions, just leave comments down below and check out all the products links in the description box below. So see you guys and stay hydrated, stay moisturized, and drink a lot of water and sleep early.